follows the same. If there was no God, man would invent one. Anyway, the concept of God is tied to our human needs because it is one of our most basic needs is to feel safe. It is a fact that religion flourishes during insecure times when people feel the stress of danger and chaos. This is because nature presents its own dangers in the form of storms, floods, drought, famine, sickness, and in health. We don't seem so much anymore. To see God in causing such violence, but looking to a higher power for protection has been an age-old path that people have followed. Now millions of people today live on the edge of survival, and the God they pray to is almost like a divine parent who can make bad things go away or prevent them from even happening. The best understanding for most, if they understand it at all, is that in the end they are going to heaven, and this is seen as a return home, and an end to the physical struggle, a lifting of life's crushing burdens. Many people who are diagnosed with life-threatening illness find themselves praying to God to save them. Actual physical salvation becomes crucial, not so much the salvation of the soul. Because when you're hurting, it's hard to have faith. Yeah. I've talked to people that were within days and weeks of going out. It's going to suffer. Yeah. And too many. A protective God also defeats their enemies. He is invoked to keep their nation safe and to win wars. The validity of such a God has been very strong despite an obvious problem. And that problem is simply this, an all-powerful God could be seen as the cause of these disasters. He does bring the flood as well as end it, but over the years, there is a decreased need for a metaphysical escape clause. Now we can prevent floods and cure disease, but no need to invoke a Father God to do these things for us. Millions of believers have fallen away from the parenting version of God, feeling confident enough to actually follow the correct paths on their own which I believe was the idea. Yeah. However, there exist millions more who are insecure and lead lives in some kind of fear, where anxiety always prevails and holds them back. And for them, when God doesn't intervene to bring victory in war or safety from the flood or some reason to blame, must lie with them. It certainly can't be with God. So we say to ourselves, surely we must have sinned in some unseen mysterious way. I was always taught, it's got to be us, can't be him. The truth is, many non-believers lead perfectly safe and happy lives without a concept of sin or guilt. And those that believe a personal crisis is a sign of divine disfavor just don't know the love and grace of our Father in Heaven.